Listen, we're all thinking it. Fortnite Fracture was probably one of the worst events that we've ever seen, and for multiple reasons. There was so much hype and marketing generated around this event, and it's incredible to see how hard it flopped. Everything that we were looking forward to was either ignored or lazily produced. And to dissect this entire thing, let's first take a look at the storyline. This was supposed to be the culmination of everything that happened on the Fortnite island, not just in Chapter 3, but in the last five years. We knew that this was going to be a huge conclusion to many of the overarching plot points in the story. We also figured, based on leaks and words being used to describe the event, that the island and the loop containing it were most likely going to be destroyed. Now, I wasn't upset with the conclusion to the event being so predictable, because it's not always about knowing the end of the story, it's about the journey and how you get there. The day before the event on my Zero Point podcast, we were all there giving our theories and ideas as to what we thought was going to happen but unfortunately, everything that we came up with was better than what we got. The Loop Breaker Project, which had been teased in the previous week's Paradise Quest, were never mentioned. We have no idea even what that was, and to top it off, Midas was teased multiple times in the weeks leading up to the event and seemed like an essential part to something that would break the loop. I personally was skeptical about him showing up, but at least thought he'd be mentioned by Jonesy, who, speaking of which, was absent throughout the entire event. For someone who we spent so much time with throughout the last chapter and was so important to the story, it's disappointing to see him being tossed aside like a dirty rag. But to me, that wasn't even the most egregious sin of this lackluster event. My biggest problem with Fortnite Fracture was that it put us in what seemed like the aftermath of what should have been the event. Think about it. From the perspective of someone who was playing the game right before the event started and then loaded in, it was quite the jarring experience. One moment you're on the island, and the next you're floating out in space putting it back together. So you're sitting there wondering, where's the Herald? The nothing? The last reality? We didn't get a chance to try to fight her off and fail firsthand. We had to watch it all in the form of a flashback through a two minute cutscene. That is, if you were able to see it. That's right, for many of us, the game just crashed and logged us out, but in my case, it was a bit worse. I became an eternal spectator, kind of like the Watcher from Marvel Comics. Always present, but never able to interfere with the outcome of the events I'm burdened to spectate. And ironically, it's all because I tried to enjoy myself and participate in the activities of the live event. Throughout the floating fractured island were little pieces of debris that could be interacted with. When activating it, it would give you a cutscene to previous events from Fortnite past. I tried to look at the mech versus monster event, and the moment I touched the mecha arm, well... Activate flashback? What is yep. this? Where, where, where? where like legacy at? flashbacks. I can't see it. It's not, it's not showing me big. anything. Which what? flashback are you trying to activate? The, the mech. Uh, it's nothing special. It's just a recap of what the mech's been through. It doesn't... From events. It, and now I can't move, and now I, I don't see anything. What the hell? I was stuck in a position that prevented me from moving my character for the rest of the event. My controller wouldn't work, my mouse and keyboard wouldn't work, and I was dead in the water until the live event ended. As a content creator who was looking forward to posing his reaction of the event, I was disheartened to see that I couldn't participate and was forced to spectate while all my friends got to explore it. But then again, maybe that wasn't so bad because from what I could see, the event was pretty stale. Most people just described it as doing chores and really had no interest in completing tasks after the first seven minutes. So in some ways, I didn't miss much. I just wish I could have seen the cutscenes firsthand without having to check them out on YouTube later. Finally, I think this Fracture event revealed something very telling about Fortnite. Epic really could care less about the story. I don't know what's going on with Donald Mustard, but in my opinion, he's either not interested in telling a good story or he doesn't know how to. This was beyond abysmal from a writing perspective, but at the end of the day, Epic wasn't concerned about a good story or quite frankly even a live event. They just wanted to get enough people looking at the game, that way when Chapter 4 dropped, everyone would be excited to check it out. And it worked! And after playing the new season, I have to say, they did a killer job. But I'm going to save more of my thoughts on that for the next video. As for my last words in the live event, it's about what I expected. Unfortunately, because Epic did such a bad job with the story, I think it's made a lot of players, even the diehard fans, a little numb to the story. I think most of us have lost interest in taking it seriously. As a content creator, I'll still track it, but I don't expect much from it anymore. Fortnite Fracture unfortunately confirmed many of my fears on how Epic would treat the story. And if you want to see what my concerns were before the live event even came out, check out this video right here. But how did you feel about the Fortnite Fracture event? Did you actually get a chance to participate in it? Leave a comment down below or in my Discord, which will also be linked down below as well. And if you're new here, subscribe to the channel. And as always, I love you guys, and I'll see you soon.
Peace out.